India Chandran 3 mission is about to create history and uh, before it does that there are a couple of questions that are doing the round that people are curious about so for those curious minds here are a few questions that we would be answering for you first so it was on 17th August that the lander module was ejected from the propulsion module so why did it take so long for the lander to reach moon the satellite moves in an elliptical path because of the gravitational pull and also the movement of the moon the thing to note is that elliptical path changes every time so a lot of maneuvers are required for it to reach the right position before it approaches touchdown what are the different phases of landing and the potential risk associated with it all right so the speed of the lander is around 6000 kilometers per hour which needs to be brought down drastically to almost zero before it approaches touchdown Talking about the first phase, which is called the rough landing phase, here the velocity, which is the horizontal, the vertical, and also the altitude, which is around 30 kilometers, has to be brought down. Here, the velocity, which is the horizontal velocity of 6,000 kilometers per hour, has to be brought down to 358 meters per second, vertical velocity to almost 61 meters per second, and the altitude from 30 kilometers has to be brought down to 7.42 kilometers. And all this has to be done within 700 seconds. The second phase is the altitude hold phase which will last for 10 seconds. Here the altitude would be reduced from 7.4 kilometers to 6.8 kilometers, horizontal velocity to 336 meter per second and vertical velocity would be brought down from 61 to 59 meters per second. The third phase is the most important phase and it's called the fine braking phase. This lasts for around 175 seconds. Here the horizontal orbit would be changed to vertical orbit with speed almost nil. The altitude would be brought down to 800 to 1000 meters and uh, the lander would be around 30 kilometers away from the landing site. It's very important because this is where the Chandrayaan-2 mission failed while it was transitioning from phase two to phase three. Now after the final stage comes the touchdown, but here also things are a little tricky and really important because the lander has to be in a very stable position. Helping it achieve that are 12 thrust engines, four of which will help it maintain its velocity and altitude and the remaining eight are directional thrust engines that will help the lander be stable. Also Chandrayaan-3 is capable to touch down at a speed of 10.8 km per hour, which is the key. Now the final question, if for any reason the landing is aborted, the Chandrayaan-3 lander would take around four days to again make an attempt. Why? Well, the answer is again because of the elliptical path. As the lander moves away because of elliptical power that is dependent on the gravitational pull and the movement of the Earth, it will have to undergo multiple maneuvers before it reaches the desired altitude. Hence, it will take around four days to make another successful attempt. Well, let's hope that the plan B doesn't come into motion and in the first attempt, we are able to achieve our dream and create history.